The United Arab Emirates is currently in the process of recovering from the aftermath of the most intense rainfall ever documented in the desert region, leading to widespread disorder and disruptions. However, there are concerns that the severe flooding experienced in Dubai and other areas might have been a result of human actions. The recent torrential downpour has left the nation grappling with significant challenges as it copes with the repercussions of the excessive rain. In the arid climate of the United Arab Emirates, where soaring temperatures are the norm, the country extensively utilizes cloud seeding as a vital technique. This process involves the deployment of aircraft that disperse salt flares into clouds, thereby accelerating the condensation process and stimulating precipitation, ultimately contributing to the replenishment of groundwater supplies. Flight tracking data examined by the Associated Press revealed that an aircraft linked to the United Arab Emirates cloud seeding initiatives circulated across the nation on the specific day of Sunday. Ahmed Habib, a meteorologist working at the National Center for Meteorology in the United Arab Emirates, shared with news outlets that multiple seeding missions were conducted prior to the unusual rainfall that caused significant disruptions in Dubai. The discussion surrounding this process has intensified, prompting the National Center of Meteorology to respond to inquiries by news outlets with a clarification. Contrary to earlier reports, the National Center of Meteorology negated allegations of conducting seeding before the severe Dubai floods. According to the National Center of Meteorology's statement to news outlets, although they initially indicated that the operation occurred on Tuesday, one day prior to the storm, they later confirmed that seeding activities actually occurred on both Sunday and Monday. The alarming footage circulating on social media platforms depicted a harrowing scene where cars became inundated with water, compelling numerous drivers to desert their vehicles and seek refuge by swimming to safety. Several of the vehicles were immersed entirely, their roofs barely visible above the water's surface, showcasing the severity of the flooding incident. The unprecedented deluge left a trail of chaos and disruption, highlighting the vulnerability of both individuals and property in the face of natural calamities. In the midst of chaos, a few affluent car owners who were behind the wheels of opulent vehicles boasted about effortlessly maneuvering through the mayhem, claiming to have floated through it. However, the majority experienced a different fate as their cars came to a halt, unable to navigate through the floodwaters. Rainwater entered residences, displacing inhabitants who were compelled to evacuate to elevated buildings for safety as their houses were inundated. This natural inundation forced individuals to vacate their homes, seeking refuge in higher structures on the streets. The devastating floods inundated not only the airport, but also numerous nearby roads, resulting in the cancellation of numerous flights as passengers crowded into the concourse seeking refuge from the heavy rainfall. The overwhelming deluge caused widespread havoc, disrupting travel plans and inundating infrastructure. The nation's traditional leaders failed to provide any comprehensive updates on the extent of damage or injuries affecting the country, while reports surfaced of individuals having to spend the night in their submerged vehicles on Tuesday. The lack of detailed information from the hereditary rulers left many uncertain about the situation's severity. In Ras al Khaimah, which is situated as the northernmost emirate of the country, authorities reported a tragic incident where a 70-year-old individual lost his life after his vehicle was carried away by the force of floodwaters. The video shared on social media this morning presented a remarkable time-lapse sequence, capturing the gradual arrival of thunderstorms. As the dark clouds gathered and the sky transformed into a deep shade of black, the cityscape slowly faded from view under the impending sheet of rain. This mesmerizing footage depicted the unfolding of nature's power as the storm enveloped the urban landscape. Some analysts contended that the phenomenon of cloud seeding should not be attributed as the primary cause of the flooding events, citing that specialists have approximated that this method has the capability to augment the annual precipitation levels by a moderate range of 10 to 30 percent. Following their analysis, the experts didn't attribute the severe flooding in Dubai to the city's inadequate drainage systems. Rather, they proposed that an anomalous weather pattern was en route to the area, indicating a predisposition towards adverse weather conditions. In a comprehensive and in-depth analysis by Professor Giles Harrison, an expert in atmospheric physics at the University of Reading, it was pointed out that while the United Arab Emirates engages in operational seeding, 
The effectiveness of this practice differs significantly from the recent rainfall in Dubai. The seeding in the United Arab Emirates involves targeting specific developing clouds by dispersing seeding materials from aircraft. However, the rainfall experienced in Dubai was attributed to a large weather system moving across the region. The distinction lies in the methods and outcomes of these two weather modification approaches. Seeding aims to enhance precipitation by manipulating cloud formation, while the substantial rainfall in Dubai was a result of natural weather patterns. In a collaborative statement, Professor Martin Ambaum, a colleague of his, emphasized the presence of an active seeding initiative in the United Arab Emirates aimed at augmenting rainfall in the region's arid landscape. However, it was highlighted that current technological capabilities do not permit the generation or substantial alteration of such rainfall occurrences. This in-depth perspective underscores the existing efforts to influence precipitation patterns in the region through seeding practices. The precipitation commenced in the latter part of Monday, drenching the desert terrain and streets of Dubai with approximately one inch of rainfall, as per meteorological records obtained at Dubai International Airport. The meteorological disturbances escalated significantly at approximately nine in the morning local time on Tuesday and persisted relentlessly all through the day, unleashing a deluge of additional precipitation and hail upon the already inundated city. During the course of Tuesday, Dubai experienced a substantial amount of rainfall, with the city receiving over six inches of precipitation within a span of 24 hours. Dubai International Airport, renowned as the world's busiest airport for international travel and a key hub for the prestigious long-haul carrier Emirates, typically receives an average annual rainfall of 3.7 inches. In the early hours of the morning, an organized effort to remediate the situation was observed as tanker trucks were seen navigating through the streets and highways, diligently working to extract and dispose of the accumulated water. As the ongoing cleanup operation persists, the authorities made the decision to close schools and implemented a remote work policy by the government. Dubai's tourism officials issued a cautionary advisory to travelers, advising them to steer clear of the airport premises due to the unprecedented deluge that inundated the area with rainfall equivalent to more than a year and a half within a remarkably short span of time. This unexpected weather phenomenon has left the airport and its surroundings significantly affected. After posting on the social media platform X, known as Twitter in the past, the airport communicated that the recovery process following the challenges faced would require a significant amount of time. The message expressed gratitude towards the audience for their patience and comprehension during this period of resolving the issues. The recently unveiled video recordings depict scenes within the airport premises, which is renowned as the globe's most bustling hub for international travel. The footage captures a poignant sight of some travelers resorting to sleeping on the hard airport floor, while others face the unfortunate situation of being denied entry to the terminal for reasons undisclosed. The stagnant water gently rippled on the taxiways as airplanes approached for landing, leading to the authorities making the decision to shut down the airport entirely for nearly an hour on the previous day. After swiftly reopening the facility, the schedule has spiralled into disarray, causing disruptions to dozens more flights. The communication disseminated by the authorities managing Dubai Airport emphasised the recommendation that individuals refrain from visiting the airport unless their presence is deemed absolutely essential. It was conveyed on social media to notify the public about the ongoing situation at the airport, where flights are experiencing continued delays and diversions. Witnesses present at the airport on the evening of Tuesday observed a scene where every seat in the waiting area was occupied, leaving no empty spaces. Travelers, seemingly in a state of desperation, settled in for a prolonged night ahead. The primary airport that handles the highest volume of international travelers globally announced a temporary suspension of incoming flights at approximately 3.30 in the afternoon and later declared a phased reinstatement more than two hours afterward. As individuals stood beyond the confines of the airport, visual content captured by those stranded in the drenched surroundings depicted scenes reminiscent of a post-apocalyptic realm. In a recent incident, a small group of courageous individuals found themselves in a challenging situation as they sat perched on the roofs of their vehicles, braving the harsh weather conditions under the cover of the dark night sky. However, 
a larger number of people made the difficult decision to leave their cars behind and opt for swimming towards safety. Every year, the detrimental effects of adverse weather conditions create widespread chaos across infrastructure on a global scale, resulting in substantial harm and disturbances to societies, financial systems, and the ecological balance. Various forms of severe weather phenomena such as intense hurricanes, destructive tornadoes, relentless downpours, and paralyzing blizzards contribute significantly to the profound and extensive implications of extreme climatic occurrences. Bad weather can have a profound impact on infrastructure, manifesting primarily in physical harm to various structures such as buildings, roads, bridges, and essential facilities. The detrimental effects are immediate and conspicuous. For instance, strong winds have the potential to uproot trees and knock down power lines, disrupting the utility services. Moreover, intense rainfall has the capacity to trigger landslides and floods, putting the stability of roads and bridges at risk and eroding critical transportation connections. Along coastal regions, the threat escalates with storm surges induced by hurricanes and tropical storms, leading to submerging of low-lying infrastructure. This inundation results in extensive destruction, creating widespread havoc and jeopardizing both lives and property. Recurring weather-related incidents can have a compounding effect on infrastructure, causing gradual wear and heightened susceptibility to upcoming dangers. Over time, structures like dams and levees, as they near the end of their planned lifespan, may lose their ability to withstand extreme weather conditions. This diminished resilience poses a greater threat of potential collapse and extensive damage. The long-term exposure to various weather challenges weakens the infrastructure's capacity to endure, making it more prone to failure and widespread impacts in the face of severe events. As infrastructure ages, its ability to weather storms diminishes, rendering it more helpless against the forces of nature and paving the way for potential calamity. Adverse weather conditions not only result in physical harm, but also have the potential to disrupt critical services like electricity, water supply, and communication networks, intensifying the consequences of severe events on both societies and economies. Instances such as power blackouts, which are often triggered by fallen power lines or infrastructure damage, can incapacitate numerous individuals by depriving them of power for extended periods, ranging from days to weeks, causing disruptions in routine activities, impeding emergency response operations, and presenting significant threats to public well-being and safety. Such scenarios underscore the intricate interplay between harsh weather phenomena and the vulnerability of essential infrastructure, underscoring the profound implications for communities and economic structures. Damage to water and wastewater systems during disasters can have severe implications, jeopardizing the availability of safe drinking water and sanitation services. This situation elevates the likelihood of waterborne illnesses and various health threats. Additionally, disruptions in communication infrastructure can further exacerbate the crisis by hindering the dissemination of vital information. Such interruptions impede the coordination of rescue operations and impairs post-disaster recovery efforts significantly. The economic repercussions arising from infrastructure damage caused by adverse weather conditions are immense, reaching billions of dollars on an annual basis. As per the data provided by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the United States grapples with infrastructure destruction costs amounting to tens of billions of dollars each year due to severe weather occurrences like hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, and wildfires. These expenditures encompass not only the direct outlays linked to repairing and reconstructing the impaired infrastructure, but also encompass indirect expenses such as diminished productivity, disruptions in business operations, and declining property values. The financial toll incurred as a result of weather-related damage is a significant concern globally, impacting economies, communities and individuals alike. The monetary strain arising from such calamities highlights the critical need for proactive measures to mitigate the escalating costs and safeguard infrastructure resilience in the face of increasingly unpredictable climate conditions. Weather-related infrastructure damage can have far-reaching economic repercussions in the long run, significantly impacting regional economies and national competitiveness. To illustrate, when transportation networks face disruptions, it can hinder the smooth movement of goods and services, resulting in disruptions in the supply chain. This, in turn, leads to decreased productivity, 
increased operational costs for both businesses and consumers, and a potential loss of competitiveness on a broader scale. The consequences extend beyond immediate financial burdens, influencing the overall economic stability and growth trajectory of a region or a nation. In light of the escalating risk posed by weather-induced harm to infrastructure, various entities such as governments, communities and private organisations are progressively channeling resources into fortifying resilience and adaptation strategies aimed at curbing the ramifications of severe weather occurrences. So, what do you make of this recent weather announcement? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.